How's it going everyone? Halim Urban here, owner and founder of Village Food Tours. Hope you are having a wonderful day. In this video, I am with my boy David Hoffman from David's Been Here Yet Again, and we are finishing up our 24 hours of eating Indian food. And we are here again at well, Flavors of uh, India, one red, of my favorite right, spots yeah. to visit. So um, I did Whatever a full video want. on them. You can click the link if you want to take a look at it. So um, we're going to dive in, get some behind the scenes footage right here, and then both David and I sit down and talk about all these awesome dishes. You okay? <laughs> That was strong. I got my milk. If you want to like have Kerala, it's like the land of coconuts. That's, that's literally a translation, Kerala. Oh wow! It's wow. land of coconuts. Yeah, it's God's own country, dude. God's own country. Love it. I love running into beautiful Kerala, man. Fresh tomatoes. How is there a Kerala person in every single corner of America? Oh really? Yeah <laughs> man, everywhere. Korean. Good. It's crazy how many how many there are like blow my mind every time I run into somebody from Kerala. Oh hold on. So it's dumb biryani? Yeah, it's chicken dumb biryani. Show you how to do the the photos. Just wrap it, dude. And I okay. take off of everything, so you just like go with photos, you know? Uh, I'm gonna fish Oh wow. 
No way. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the secret's all over the internet, my friend. <laughs> I've never seen that. So he yeah. put the bread on top of the bowl where he put the biryani and then he put it into the tandoor. So the bread cooks and on top, like yep. that. Awesome. Oh, it's a coconut. So good. Cold with coconut. You can see the salt in here. This should be for the. It's like a fruit. For the, the tamarind, like a kind of tamarind. You put it in there. This is gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. Be oh, I can't wait. So we have three good plates. Perfect. <laughs> So this is fish, yeah. but mindaloo. For fish curry. This is a fish curry right here. Oh, tandoori cook the pampano. Oh, go. Okay. Yeah. So first you cook the pampano, you cook the tandoori. Okay. What's the name of the fish again? Pampano. Pampano. How is there a curry? This is pampano uh, curry. Yeah. You see the alapura, right? You see yeah. the, so like you call the karimi? Yes, I have this one, al alapura. Okay. <laughs> alapura or alapurza? Alapura. <laughs> this is a big boat place on August. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. In the lake, right? Yeah. Biryani is almost ready. Biryani is ready. Biryani is ready. I love it. Surprise me. Can you make Kashmiri naan? Yeah, I like it. Kashmiri naan? Yes. Dude, it's the best. Kashmiri naan bowl. Oh. Okay. Halim, are you ready? I'm, I'm more than ready, man. It more is than ready. 9.30, we have biryani, we have fish vindaloo, right? We have uh, some chicken wings tandoor, where there's actually uh, drumsticks tandoor. We have the Kashmiri naan, my favorite naan ever. You're gonna love it. Awesome. Butter naan. We also have, so the biryani, and then what's the other one over there? The lamb madras. The lamb madras. La mad and we have a dessert. A dessert. 9.30 <laughs> in the morning, dude. <laughs> I think we should try these first, right? Awesome. Awesome. Just grab one each. Cheers. Very easy. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. The tandoor. Look at this. So tender. Pull apart. I love the spices. Mm. Oh, so good. So easy to eat. Mm. Mm-hmm. Goes down. Look for me. The chicken wings. 
chicken wings and drumstick in India, it's one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. All tandoor when they do it? Most times. Most. Mm -hmm. Some people are straight fry. Mm -hmm. I prefer tandoor. That was incredible. Thank you. Yeah. I think what we need to do is get that fish right yeah. now, right? So it's um, pompano, right? Pompano. pompano. Yeah. So this is a very typical fish in Kerala, right? Yeah. This is what you'll see in Alapuza. Okay. So backwaters here to me. So you say Kerala, where in India is that? Right. Uh, it's very, very south. Uh, so it's southeast. Yeah, next to Goa. I'll show you on the on the map. Okay. But, so here we got the fish, right? So always you have curry leaves in all Kerala food. So obviously you're gonna get a little bit of bones. So I'll just like break it into here, right? Get some of that flesh, beautiful fish. What are the little um, seeds? Uh, mustard, mustard seeds. seeds. Mustard seeds? Yeah, okay. look at this, monster. Oh yeah, awesome. Just be careful, there are bones. bones. There yeah. are bones in this. It is a whole fish. It is it a is whole fish. Whole fish. <laughs> and one thing, one thing I'll tell you right off the bat, you can tell it's Kerala, smell the coconut. Mm. You can just smell it, man. I'm gonna get that tomato because it looks so creamy and juicy. <laughs> so Corella, you were saying with the co they use a lot of coconut milk there. They use coconut milk in everything. And coconut co oil in everything, everything. It's like the land of coconuts. You have to do this with the bread. Oh yeah. So grab okay. one of the cashmere ones. We so have what's, the what, what's the difference between this naan and that naan? That one's just straight butter on top, uh -huh. ghee, right? And then this one, as you can see, the inside he's filled it with like uh, dried fruits, oh, um, okay. so like some raisins and some nuts, right? Okay. And it's gonna be a lot sweeter. So I should try it just on its own mm -hmm. first. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. the wow, buffalo, man! Right on. People don't know about it. Oh cause, man! Cause it's from Kashmir, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like a disputed area now between Pakistan and India, but. The food up there, they say, is amazing, and it's very different. This is a different type of diet. Mm -hmm. This goes good for breakfast. This is mm -hmm. breakfasty. So raisins and nuts. But now, what you could do, I'm going straight in here and grabbing some of that incredible curry. Dude, this is the best. Just do it with the sauce first instead mm -hmm. of... Mm. Mm. Nice. Oh, wow. I love coconut. Look at that. So it's like a... It's like an orange curry, right? Get the mustard seeds, going out. It's not too heavy, mm -hmm. more on the letter side. And then you go in here and try to grab some of the, you know, that flesh of the fish. fish. Just watch out for the bones, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. I love whole fish, though. Mm -hmm. Nothing better, right? And the fish was cooked in the tandoor, too? Awesome. That's the best. Everything in tandoor. Everything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. So the cool thing about Kerala is that it really is the land of super diverse food. Uh-huh. Because they have everything. You got the seafood aspect, you have super meaty if you want to. So they got it all. And it's straight veg as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice mixture. Nice mixture. Wow. No. Because mm. India is the world's spice capital, right? It really is Kerala. Kerala? Kerala is a spice capital. That's where the spice trade started. So Vasco da Gama, Portuguese explorer, went all around Africa, made it there, and he started the first spice route, sea spice route, before they literally had to cross all of Asia Oh wow! to get there. And so still to this day, it's the, like, Kerala specifically is mm -hmm. the world's spice. Cool. In Corella you'll see spice everywhere. It's it's really insane how much there is. You know? Pepper and Yeah, pepper and cardamom. These are the two main ones, right? Oh wow. This fish is incredible. Mm hmm Love it. So it's a nice easy fish. There is a lot of flesh. So you just take it off from the top, you know? Nice flesh. Oh wow, that's a nice chunk. That right there. Big chunk. You want it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll see if I find another piece. I really you know the like best this. part is you can flip it. And we got a whole other fatty we side. Got a whole other side here. Like, I just go with the hands, right? Yeah. Mix it in there. 
I'm a beast though. <laughs> Mm. I mean, that is so good. If you really want to be like a true Indian dude, you don't leave any of that sauce. That gravy, you gotta get it all. People kill for that, you know? For that, just go in, get as much as possible. And so, I haven't really done this for breakfast like this, but it's good. Mmm. <laughs> So with, with the curries and the sauce, like, cause I've heard like curry is just basically a sauce. Or is curry it? is a mixture of masalas, mm -hmm. spices, right? And then they add certain dairies, or in this case, they added the, the, the coconut, coconut milk. milk. Yeah. Well, I'm making sure to get some of the gravy. Oh, yeah. You have to. Gravy's the best part. Like I love the fish, but going in and grabbing that gravy, can I go for it with the other naan? So I really like this, but I like this like on its own. Like mm -hmm. this is like a yeah. I no, can for just sure. eat this and eat this it. is like straight. Yeah, yeah. that's the cool thing with the naans. You can either just have like that. But obviously, the other one you want to mix it with all the curry. Look at this. If you want, everything will fall off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it goes. There it is. There it is. Yep. Right there. Oh yeah. You got a big piece of fish here. The fish I would not leave. No, no. Look at all that. Here, get that. Mm. Pick it up. You know what? I'm gonna use a spoon and just get a piece for myself here. And so, like, these leaves are good to chew mm -hmm. on. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not like um, what is it? Bay leaves? No, no. This no, you can no. eat. Hmm. Mm. Now I'm getting full. Cool. Yeah. It's a quick one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can't leave the fish though. Oh, I know, I know. Like, fish we is like... have more, dude. Here, let's get the lamb. Let's get the lamb. All right. So, I this... know, it's too good. And you're gonna love this one. Let me give I you a lamb. kind of clean spot. Yeah, this this lamb will blow your mind, dude. And what kind of sauce or great curry? It's, so this is called uh, madras, but it is more like a brownish coconut <laughs> curry. A little okay. different, right? Okay. okay. And then we have the amazing biryani. That's, that was crazy to watch. Yeah, so I've actually never seen somebody do what he did. You know, obviously the biryani is easy, right? But yeah. it's more the the adding the bread on top and then putting it back into the tandoor. And this biryani is a chicken biryani, but it has cashews on top, it has raisins. So it's gonna be a very flavorful, uh, crunchy slash, oh man, look, I just found an egg too, if you, you want an oh. egg. I'm good on an egg, but that's awesome. I'll have the egg. <laughs> egg is awesome. Yeah, they usually put an egg in. This is called dumb biryani. It's a little, it's a little different in how they make it, but obviously they don't have huge vats here. So, how do we eat this? We're recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're recording. okay, awesome. So how do we eat this? Very easy. Get the naan, bring off a piece, and then go straight into the lamb. Okay. Just like that. Get as much as you want. Usually it's like a one biter, right? Yeah. Go biter, ready? Get some rice too, or just the lamb? Just the lamb. Just Cheers. the lamb. Cheers. Mm hmm. Oh wow. Mm hmm. Mm. Nice tender lamb. Mm hmm. I love this gravy. The madras. Yeah. Mm. It's got some chilies in there. Mm hmm. But it's not, not overly like. Even though they're in there, I'm sure if I like grab straight chili. Yeah, it's not overly bang. It's another. Light one. You definitely do have a more of a ting with this one. Mm -hmm. So biryani, how do they is it, how do they make like something in like fried rice? But obviously so it's, it's multiple not. different rices. Like it's like layered rice. Mm -hmm. So it's the basmati rice. Then on top you have like basmati rice or a different type of rice mixed with masalas. Okay. Then you have a protein. It just depends on each person or each um, city or state. Mm -hmm. They do it a little differently. So I've seen it done in Hyderabad. Seen it also done in Kerala, in uh, in Nangkoji, in uh, Kolikot, which is like the famous one. Okay. And it's an incredible experience, but the flavor in this, you have no idea. And for this one, just go like this. Just with my fingers? Yeah. Yep. Straight in. Oh, I got some chicken too. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. So many flavors. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Wow. I could eat this breakfast, lunch, dinner every day. Mm. 
That's mm. really different. Mm hmm. You got like saffron. Yeah. You have the curries. There's like a flowery. It's like flowery, yeah. Like like rose flower. Exactly. Of, like he actually put rose. Oh. Yeah, he did. He did. Okay. Well, oh wow. And then <laughs> you also can mix it with any of the curries if you want to get you know a little more adventurous, mm -hmm. which is how they do it, right? So you just mix it, get a bite. And so it's got raisins in it too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, so good. You gotta break up this incredible egg. Oh man. And this is the way you do it, right? So you break it up. Ooh. It's hot. It's super <laughs> hot egg. So bring it up, mix it in here, and I threw some of the lamb on top as well so I can have that. And just mix, right? Just have a. You can just a monster bite. That's the best part about India. Like, you literally can just mix whatever you want, and no one's ever gonna be like, oh, that's not the way you do it, mm -hmm. you know? You can do that. Here, people look at me when I'm mixing, they're like, why? You know? But like all my food, like Thanksgiving, like that's the best. Like you mix mm -hmm. the turkey and the cranberry and the grape. You got it. You got to mix it around. You know. Yeah. Now, like I don't like things touching when I put it on there. That way, you can do your own mixture. Do your own mixture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like putting it just straight on top. No. No. But this is great. But like I could be okay. like, all right, some of the what's this one called again? Lamb madras. Madras. Yeah. Lamb. Lamb. Lamb madras. Mm hmm. But like you could be like, I want some of the lamb, some of the chicken, some of the right. Or this time I want more Definitely gravy. Definitely separate it. You know? Yeah. So good. Mmm. Briani at 9 30 in the morning. All mm. this food at 9 30 in the morning. So, what'd you think? That was amazing. Dude, all of it. The Gold Beach is number one Indian restaurant. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Oh, wow. You literally teleported me back to like the backwaters. Mmm. Man, the flavors, the curry. You got a spice, but not too crazy. It's not like killer, just right. Oh, and now I'm like dripping. Oh, and we got some chai, 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 chai. Mine's like on fire. Oh. But it's always like that. So it has to be hot. Mm. Oh, way too hot. Way too hot. Whoa. Yeah. A little too much. <laughs> but you know what? We still got dessert. Dun, da, 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 da. What is this? The chocolate mousse? Chocolate, 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 So, what is it called? Chocolate trioli. Chocolate trioli. So, vanilla, chocolate, cream. I guess we'll do it. I didn't know I was gonna have ice cream or <laughs> dessert like this this time in the morning. All right, I'm ready to dig in. Oh, oh. Whoa, what a massive bite you got. <laughs> <laughs> Brain freeze. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. The top layer, so fluffy. And it has like an Indian spice. No, like a smoke in it. Mmm. Right. Like smoky. Wow, I'm not holding back. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you. It, it's like, um, I don't know, it's like ice cream and mousse. Yeah, it's like a, it's like something Delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Delicious. My friends, we had an epic time eating Indian food for 24 hours in Cocoa Beach. Woo! Start off at the Taj, right? Taj. Taj Modern Indian Cuisine. In Melbourne. In Melbourne. Then we drove over. Over to Cocoa Beach, beach side, and we hit up Punjab. Punjab, so Sheer Punjab, I Sheer think. Sheer Punjab, yep. And then we ended here at Flavors of India. Flavors of India. Yes. Cocoa Beach, man. Hey, guys, when you come to Miami, you know, or Orlando, definitely head up or down to Cocoa Beach, hit up Halim, go on a village food tour, experience Cocoa Village. You can go on the water, you can eat food like crazy. That's obviously what he's all about. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, if you love the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content in the next travel food adventure somewhere around the world. Oh, it's too hot. Ooh. So good. So good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Village Food Tours channel. 